Hey y'all, uh, today in the Landscape Lowdown, I'm gonna talk a little bit about those cracks in your trees. So the first thing is, is that people have been asking a lot about the cracks that have been occurring in their Japanese maples and different types of trees uh, throughout uh, the season and I figured this is a good time as any we're out here doing a pruning today and I uh, figured I would show you a example of it and why this occurs so as you can see here this Japanese maple we've got a big wound right in here that has occurred over the years this one actually has several wounds there's one up back in here there's a couple around here now, why does that occur? And actually, these are uh, this brown area is actually healed over part, and that's actually that's actually a good thing. Um, but what? Why did this occur? This occurs because of something called sun scald or uh, frost cracking. So those two things are kind of used uh, interchangeably, and uh, what? actually happens is that in Pennsylvania anyways and in other states where it gets colder during the, the seasons is that when we have warm spouts of weather and there's a lot of uh, water being taken up in the tree and uh, the weather's really nice and all of a sudden we get these really hot or really cold snaps of weather and it flash freezes essentially that means that that water that has been being drawn up from the earth has is in the tree and it freezes and it expands and when that expands obviously the bark especially on thin bark trees like japanese maples uh will actually break apart and uh because of that freezing that thawing and freezing cycle that happens immediately so that is the reason why these things occur oftentimes. Now there's some other reasons this occurs. There could have been a gash in the, in the plant when it was installed and it just kind of grew over the years and some of those other things could have happened to it. The other thing is, is that the plant actually grew faster than anticipated basically is what it comes down is that it, it grew so rapidly that the outside layer could not handle the pressure of the growth. It's basically the same thing, just a little bit of a different avenue. So, and that is called growth cracking. Imagine that. When this occurs, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just something that happens in nature. Now it can be an issue when, uh, when decay and fungal issues can get into these, into these things and actually start rotting out the inside of the tree. And that is the issue. Um, so we want to be careful about that. But you do not want to ever put any of that, uh, that pruning sealant or anything like that on there because that actually creates areas where there's more water that can be collected in there. And then you can have more issues and a better area for disease and fungal and insect issues too. That's the other thing. Insects can get into these cracks and uh, wreak havoc on the inside of a tree. So that is uh, the main reason or the main, main things about this particular uh, scenarios with this frost cracking and, or sun scald and growth cracking is that uh, it's not bad when this happens. Uh, this healing is actually good. That means it's healing up. This is probably a frost crack because you can actually see the inside layer of the tree. Um, growth crack typically you don't see that as, you don't see the inside of the tree. You actually just see maybe a crack along the outside bark of the tree. Uh, so I hope this helps. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions or, or uh, comments, please comment below, contact us, let us know. Thanks for watching.